Morgan, it was a fire which killed a toddler and left his mother and baby sister in critical condition. Now, weeks later, as they continue their recovery, the two men that tried to save the young boy are being honored. WLKY's Lauren Adams joins us with more. Lauren? Well, Vicki, earlier tonight, two officers with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office were awarded Medals of Valor for their efforts to save two year old DJ Johnson last month. They tell me they don't think they're deserving of the recognition, but DJ's family, Vicki, believes they are and they are grateful for what those two men tried to do. In the early morning hours of November 20th, fire ripped through the Johnson family's apartment. Mother Whitney made it out with her one month old daughter, Nyla. But when two deputies with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office arrived to Country Hills, two year old DJ was still inside. Sergeant Jared Deaton rushed inside, and Deputy Zach Rivers followed. We had to do something. We couldn't just stand there. It wouldn't have been right. So we both went inside, and that was our decision. Braving smoke and flames, the men managed to make it to the second floor of the apartment, but they were forced to turn back. Unfortunately, the outcome wasn't what we wanted. Uh, we wish we could have done more. You doubt yourself and you think you could have done more, but the reality of it all was we couldn't have done any more than we did. And on Thursday, the two men were honored by the county judge executive and sheriff for what they did do. For that act, we've got a medal of valor for each of them. Rainisha Johnson is DJ's aunt and says life without the little boy has been excruciating. He was just smiling all the time. All the time. Every time I seen him, he just smiled. She says her sister in law recently managed to take her first steps and was able to hold her daughter for the first time in weeks. Nyla suffered severe burns and continues to undergo skin graft surgeries. She's grateful for their recovery and thankful for the officers that tried to save DJ. They should be honored because. They tried to go in there and help save them. I am grateful that they did. Still, those deputies, both the sons of officers, don't believe they're worthy of the recognition. I personally don't believe we deserve the thanks because we didn't complete our job, but we tried. You know, we gave it the best we could. Rainisha Johnson tells us her brother, who was at work at the time of that fire, remains in Cincinnati at the hospital with his wife and daughters. While doctors are pleased with their progress so far, Vicki, there is no word tonight on when they will be coming home. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. While the cause of that fire is still under investigation, it's believed it started in the kitchen. At this point, fire officials are calling it accidental.